Hey guys, it's Shayna, and today I am going to show you how I cut my hair while it's curly and how I trim my hair while it's stretched out. I'm also going to show you how I achieve this awesome hairstyle with Design Essentials Coconut and Minoy line. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, I'm going to show you how to trim your hair while it's stretched. You're going to need a comb and brush and you're also going to need your scissors. And all I do is stretch the hair out so that it is perpendicular to my face and make a straight line. Just one straight cut, that's it. And then I will release the beast. Once I take my hair out of the twist, I'll go ahead and comb it out. I prefer leaving my hair in two sections just because my hair is so thick it makes it so much easier to work with. And once I get it combed out, I'll give it a good shake so that the hair can kind of fluff up and then I will manually go in and finger fluff my hair. And that's it. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna show you how I cut my hair while it's curly. For this style, I clarified my hair in the shower and there's no other product in it as of this moment. I'm gonna start by using the Design Essentials Natural Coconut and Minoy Deep Moisture Oil Treatment as a hot oil treatment. Apply a very generous amount to your hair after you have shampooed it and make sure you work it in really good. Then I'm gonna grab my shower cap and put it over my hair and let my hair marinate for about 15 to 30 minutes. I left the product in for the full 30 minutes because I did clarify my hair and my hair needs all of its moisture back. After the 30 minutes is up, go ahead and rinse your hair out with warm water. And I'm going to follow it up with the Design Essentials Natural Coconut and Minoy Deep Moisture Milk Cream. For this product, you really just need a pea size amount per section. I'm gonna section my hair off into about five sections. They're not even in any form or fashion. It just makes it a lot easier for me to finger comb and detangle my hair when I break it down into smaller sections. And you'll wanna take your time with this so that you can make sure your hair is evenly coated and get all of your strands covered. Since I clarified my hair and I'm about to cut my hair, I need my curls to be in tip top shape before I get started. Anytime I wear my hair curly, I never use a comb when I'm detangling. I always use my fingers just because I don't see as much breakage. And it's a lot easier for me to catch and separate those little snags. Now we're gonna grab that Design Essentials Natural Coconut and Minoy Deep Moisture Milk Souffle. And this is a nourishing lightweight styler that helps to hydrate and leave your curls frizz free and super soft. You'll just wanna apply this to your damp curls and evenly distribute it throughout the sections. For this part, I did my hair in three sections, the front two sides and then the back. Then I'm gonna let my hair air dry. For me, it takes about an hour or two for my hair to completely air dry, and then it'll come out looking like this. And now it's time for me to cut my curls. Since I had a heat damage fiasco earlier this summer, I cut off all of the heat damaged hair that just would not revert, and I let my hair grow out without doing really anything to it for the past couple of months. I know a lot of you will probably look at my hair and say there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, I should just leave it alone. But just for me knowing my hair, there are some curls that are a little bit different than the others. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape up my hair. And for me, this is kind of a strand by strand as needed situation. All of my curls do not need to be cut, which means that my hair will be a little bit uneven on certain strands, but I'm okay with that because I prefer my curls to be in tip-top shape. When my hair is stretched, you won't be able to notice the difference. 
So once I get all of those little scraggly pieces off, I go back in and start shaping my hair. I do what I like to call the fluff and snip. And that's just where I fluff my hair up to how I would normally wear it and then snip off any little scragglers that are left behind. And when it's all said and done, this is how much hair I have cut off in total. And I know it seems like a lot of hair, but my, since my hair is really thick, I really didn't cut that much off. So now I'm just going to rehydrate my curls with the Coconut & Minoy Coconut Water Curl Refresher. This is a really good product to help your curls like reform and spring back into shape. For daily maintenance, I do like to add a few drops of the Coconut & Minoy Deep Moisture Oil Treatment to the ends of my hair. And then I'll go ahead and shake it on out so that my hair can fluff up. Finally, I'm going to use that Coconut & Minoy Intense Shine Oil Mist. And this is just going to help to keep my hair nourished to the max. And this is going to give my hair an amazing shine. And it's going to help protect my hair from the elements, which is awesome because when it gets cold, my hair acts so funny. So I'm just going to shake and fluff and shake and fluff some more. Another thing you want to do just to make sure your hair is how you want it, depending on how you style it, is to pull your hair up into a puff ball just to make sure there aren't a whole lot of noticeable, unruly strands. So as you can see, I pretty much got all the heat damage except for this one Michael Jackson curl right in the middle of my forehead. But I'm not going to cut that one simply because it is right on like the front line of my hair. So I'm just going to set it on over to the side until it grows out and cut it at a later date. Alright guys, so that's it. Let me know in the comment section or by giving this video a thumbs up if this was helpful to you. And also let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, just so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!